Hello and welcome to this Studio Brutal tutorial on how to make a pad like you can hear in the background in Ableton's wavetable. You don't have to make it yourself, you can just watch the video, there's a preset in the description below, it's totally free and there's some other ones as well. So yeah, go and get that, uh, it's in the description below and please like and subscribe while you're there, it really helps the channel, thanks a lot. So yeah, let's get into it. So for uh, I really like a sort of evolving pads like this like you're getting music by like polar inertia and that kind of stuff it's like almost noisy really noisy and filtered and evolving and wavetable is the perfect thing for that because it's got these really noisy oscillators uh, that are wavetables of like complex noise um, yeah first of all you, what you want to do with the MIDI is you want to hold it down a long note I've held down like it's just a four bar note and you want to hold down a minor chord um, I have just put down one note which is C is C2, um, I've pitched it down here, it's C2, uh, and then I'm using the chord unit to do a minor chord, um, which I like, because I can add stuff to it here, like I can drop it down an octave as well, just restart it, and you get a thicker sound, um, so I've added the chord unit to it, but yeah, if, instead of playing a minor chord, you can just add a chord unit here, and make the it, uh, the the settings be zero semitones, then plus three and plus seven, and it'll just it's like you're holding down a chord. So yeah, with wavetable, probably the most important thing is we will start with the um, the effects, uh, and unison is the most important because if I switch it off, it's this. It's like a sort of st stringy um, string, if you like, and if I put it back, it's a shimmer unison which is uh, you know, like a unison that, that moves and flutters a bit. It's on eight voices and I put it at 57%. You can, you can obviously turn it up more. But yeah, uh, that is a key part of the sound. I've put the voices on eight, as much, poly, as much as, they can, as much as they can go. And then I've added, added driven at the end, um, which is a, uh, sorry, I've added drive. I've driven it at the end um, here on the filters, if I turn that up. It's, it's a really nice drive. You can even go further and add another one. Um, if you switch the other filter on, you can distort it twice and you can get quite uh, heavy and distorted if you're making like EVM or whatever. But um, So yeah, that's the processing and the, um, the distortion and the unison is, is, is quite important. And then it's filtered and the filter's moving. I'll go into the automation soon, but the filter's on, it's a bit resonant and it's default quite low and then it's moving. If I take it up, it sounds like that and it's a bit resonant and it's sweeping very slowly. So basically what we want to do with the oscillators just before I switch them on is I want something that's fairly complex and uh, noisy and then I want to move it across, I want to make lots of little things move slowly to keep it evolving uh, like the filter is as well. So I want these, so I set up these envelopes to all have a slow attack. Envelope 2 has a one and a half second attack and envelope 3 has like um, yeah, about the, well, almost two seconds and long decay, another sort of almost three seconds, and then you've got this really this fairly long LFO as well. And so we're going to make lots of small changes uh, be automated by those, so they're all changing differently and slowly and evolving. Um, so yeah, with the we'll start with the oscillators now. If I take one off, it is the thing is about wavetable synthesis is you want to find a sweet spot something that sounds a bit noisy and nice and then move it like I am there and then so then what you're going to do is you're going to make a uh, modulation move it across the sweet spot uh, later on so you find a good spot and then I'm going to do the same with this one I'm going to add it in a different spot I'm going to find out where I like it and then yeah find out how where I want it to move and then I'm going to make uh, modulation do that later um, also I'm going to put on the oscillator effects here a little bit and I'm going to make them move if I turn them up too much it's, it's too much but I can make it if I make it move a little bit it flutters nicely same goes for this one here um, uh, yeah and then oh yeah also I'm, I put this one semitone up so it's a uh, so it's like in a minor chord again if I take it off it's like that it's still quite cool if I put it uh, seven semitones up which is a fifth it, again it's that, that sort of sad minor feel um, so yeah yeah that's it and then yeah the the oscillator effects are on this one and if I turn them up it can get really dark and nasty 
um, and I ha I've left it off on the preset, I've left it off, but if you want it to be nastier, you want to turn this one up, and it's moving, this is modulated as well, um, but yeah, that, it's not doing anything at the moment, but I've put it there in case you want to sort of make it really dark and like that. Um, so yeah, that is basically it. That is the setup, and then everything else really is on the um, is on the modulation, which is really simple. Like I said, we've got these envelopes. So oscillator two FM amount is here. That's the first thing I mentioned. It's on 100%, but it's doing nothing because this amount is down. If you turn it up, you'll see um, you'll see this waveform here start to move. This modulation will move sideways. see it move sideways and out as well as down um, so that's that but again it's not doing anything because the amount is down if you want that modulation to come in and get that darkness like I said turn that up um, but yeah then then the next modulation is filter frequency which is this and you can see it moving it's moving from envelope 2 it's got this slow attack so it winds in over the note uh, if I make it more resonant you can probably hear that more it's just a really nice slow attack and then again I've got unison on envelope 3 so the unison amount is changing remember I showed you what it was like without unison and with maximum unison it's like that and now I don't want it to go to maximum or minimum so I put it roughly in the middle and then I'm and then the, the envelope 3 is moving at 27 so it will never go to 0 or to 100 but it will just flutter about uh, the amount of detuning will move slowly with this and dip with this envelope and then the other thing I've got on envelope 3 is position of this one uh, which I've put in negative values and you can see it you can see when the, when the note starts you'll see it drop like that so you get that sort of fairly quick movement and then back up and then it slowly tails off you can see it's moving with this envelope um, and then, yeah, the only other thing I've got modulated is I'm using LF2, LFO2 to modulate this uh, oscillator effects. So if I turn this up, basically, if you, if wherever you set this, it doesn't really make much difference. Your ears get get used to it, honestly. Um, but if you move it, your ears can hear movement. I don't think I hope that makes sense. And so the LFO is moving that slightly. Um, it's a bit, it basically the effect doesn't do very much, uh, but moving it um, keeps the sound evolving. Like if I sweep it, it's, it's not a massive sweep, but you can hear the sweep. Um, and so yeah, the LFO2 is modulating that, and that is the patch basically. Um, so it is just a really thick chord with another sort of chord by tuning, detuning this, some thick oscillators that are complex and distorting them, filtering them, a lot of unison for a lot more thickness and then making everything move and evolve using slow attack and uh, slow decay uh, uh, envelopes and LFOs and yeah that's it and um, yeah if you want to tweak it or make it your own I mean obviously you can change it massively by changing um, the uh, uh, wavetables in which case you'll probably want to find a new sweet spot because you can see here, it's, you can see on this one it's noisier down here, there's more info. So if I move it down here, you'll get more sort of high-end harmonics, if you know what I mean, it'll sound a bit more distorted. Um, so yeah, if you want to tweak it, do that. Again, bring in this filter and add drive. You could even um, you could even make it a bandpass filter and make that move with an LFO. Um, or even a, a, sorry, a low pass. It's slightly, it wants to be slower than that, obviously. But, um, but yeah, so you can give it another LFO. You can tweak it that way. You can change these. Um, you can def definitely add in drive. really makes a big difference. Um, and yeah, and then obviously bring in this oscillator two effects for darkness. If I put it back to what it was on. It's a bit ring, uh, just control zing that. Then um, yeah, then if you if you add in this one, the amount you'll get it a really darker pad. 
as, as it as it moves, as it frequency modulates, it's, it's sort of like frequency modulation, it's moving the wavetable, it's a wavetable effect. And if you pull that in, yeah, and the, this LFO is going to be making it move in that sort of really creepy way and giving it that creepy sound. Um, so yeah, that's it. And obviously after it, you can add stuff like chorus and uh, delays and reverbs as well, which you could really do with. Um, but I just wanted to make it a wavetable patch for now. Um, so yeah, that's it. Uh, like I said in the description, you can go and get that patch. And there's another, there's a couple of other ones. There's a drone as well. I might do a video for that later on. So yeah, and yeah, please when you're there, like and subscribe or leave us a comment. It really helps the channel. And uh, yeah, good luck with your music making. Have a good day. Take care. Goodbye.